Let us start by introducing the, the most popular quantum logic gate that operates on two qubits. It's called control not gate. Quite often it's also known as the measurement gate and I will explain later on what kind of measurement um, is this uh, gate related to. Anyway, so um, we have um, now two qubits. The symbol for this gate is when I when I put a dot here, that would mean a control qubit, and uh, the gate looks like this, even though you can also write it as uh, in this way. But, but I think this one is, is probably more common. Let me just describe what it means. So we have um, two qubits here. We call the top qubit the control qubit, and uh, the bottom qubit is called the target qubit. So what this gate does is, depending on the quantum state of the first qubit, that's why it's called control qubit, um, Th there will be a different unitary operations applied to the, the, the second, the target qubit. In, in this case, um, if the, the first qubit is in the state zero, then nothing happens to the second qubit. And if the first qubit is in state one, then operation logical not or bit flip is applied to the second qubit. So that's why you have uh, alternative diagram here which essentially says the same thing and an x here stands for the x gate single qubit x gate or a bit flip so the the action of this gate if we want to be a little bit more specific is uh, can be just completely specified if i tell you how it acts on the on the four basis states so i have four basis states of my two qubits so the first qubit is the control qubit, the second one is the target qubit. So if the first qubit is in state zero, nothing happens to the second qubit. Now again, if the first qubit is in state zero and the second one is in state one, well, again, it doesn't matter because the first one is in zero, we apply the identity, nothing happens to the second qubit. Now, if the first qubit is in state one, then we apply the bit flip. So that means zero on the target qubit becomes one. So this one goes into this one. And as you can see, this state is mapped into this state. So there are other ways of uh, writing this. You can, you can write it as uh, follows. Uh, state x, y, where x and y are either zero or one is mapped into a state x. You see x always survives. And here you have x and that's binary addition x plus y. So that's exclusive or, or binary addition. So that means that you know, one plus one is zero in this case. And in particular, if y is equal to zero, that's, that's kind of interesting case that we will look at later on. <coughs> this will be mapped to x, x. So somehow the the state of the qubit, but again only for the basis state, only when x is equal zero or one. The state of the qubit of the first qubit is just copied. So then you have a copy of the of the first qubit is now uh, stored on the second qubit as well. Yet another way of um, writing this is um, this this gate is as follows. Uh, we say, well, okay, if the first qubit is in state zero, it's a projector on zero, then do nothing to the to the second qubit, to your target qubit. However, if your first qubit is in state one, apply operation x the bit flip to the second qubit so that's uh, that's another way of writing this um, this uh, this operation and of course you know if you really want you can use this basis and you can write it as a matrix as well so you can in this case uh, you will have um, if those are state 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so this matrix will look like like this.
and of course zeros on the of diagonals. So you have um, you have now a good characterization of uh, the most popular two qubit gate control node gate or the measurement gate. The measurement uh, gate the, the name refers to this particular scenario where somehow um, when you start in the in the x zero state so you prepare the second qubit in state zero then you can think about it as a as a as a measuring qubit the qubit is prepared in state zero and wants to learn the state the basis state of the first qubit that could be either zero one so the the second qubit is thinking you know, is the first qubit in state zero and one and the c naught interaction the c naught gate allows the second qubit to learn the bit value of the first qubit. So in this sense, it's a, it, it is a measurement gate. So we say that the, the second qubit is performing the measurement on the first qubit. It's learning the bit value of, um, of the first qubit. And there's more to come.